Roy, what you're seeing here is a demo of the work in progress for the autonomous robotic tic-tac-toe player. Several things are working, uh, but the robot is not one of them because shortly after getting him out of the box, I made smoke come out of him. Uh, and that's never a good thing for a robot. But here is the UR Metal from U Factory, an open source uh, robotic arm based on the Arduino platform. And maybe we'll look at him uh, another time. Uh, what is working, however, is the computer's vision, and that's what we're going to demonstrate today. And for, in order for the robot to play tic-tac-toe autonomously, he's got to be able to see the board and interpret uh, what, where the pieces are and the moves that the other player is making. To make this a lot easier, I'm using the Pixie camera from CMU Labs. Uh, Pixie has uh, some onboard processing that makes simple object recognition really easy to integrate into a small hardware platform uh, like the Arduino. Uh, everything you see here, uh, as far as the robot is concerned, is running on a SparkFun Red board, which is a Arduino board similar to the Uduino microcontroller on the UARM. And I'm using this Mac over here to simply just to show us what uh, the camera is seeing and also what the robot is thinking uh, as it plays. On the screen now is the raw video coming out of the camera. And here we can see um, the camera helping us identify the pieces on the board. You can see it knows which ones are the O's, which ones are the X's. And if I put another one in here, it will be quite confused for a while. But then it will see the, the O marker there. And what we actually get from the camera is a representation more like this, which is still quite noisy but um, we can do some filtering on board to make it easier. So let's uh, go ahead and play a game. Um, the first thing the robot's going to do is wait for the board to be ready because it, uh, it sees that there's a bunch of pieces on there and it'll probably show us the board in a second. That's what it's seeing. And it's saying that's not ready to play. So we'll take all these off here and then it should uh, recognize that he's ready to roll. And now it's waiting to tell, uh, for us to tell him who's going to go first. And we'll go ahead and uh, tell him to go first by handing him uh, the X marker. And once he sees that, he'll say, okay, I'll take that X marker. And in fact, he makes it easy on us. He wants to go right there. So now it's our turn. He'll wait forever. And there'll be a lot of noise in the screen while things are moving around. And so it waits until that's all settled down. And then it'll look for a valid move and uh, realize that, that's your move and it's time for him to play. So in a second here, we'll notice that our move is at the top there and he's gonna to go to the other corner. And the wheel then, of course, go here in order to be crafty. Really no choice. He'll see that happening, quickly moves to the center. That's fine. So now we have kind of a problem. Uh, and I'll block this one right No, Yeah, I'll block that one right there. And maybe he won't, maybe he won't see, uh, no. So the U-arm is the winner. Well, that's it. Quick little demonstration. Uh, we'll be back next time, hopefully with robots.